In the year 2000, there was a collaboration between Microsoft and the Walt Disney Company to create the most user-friendly and advanced operating system ever in history, titled the Windows Disney OS. It was originally designed to be an operating system focusing specifically on Disney-themed content. The main development team of software developers had been hard at work for several months, creating, testing and finalizing the operating system. However, as the release dates drew closer, strange glitches began to occur. Files would randomly move around, the screens would flicker, and strange whispers would be heard from the speakers. Unfortunately, the team wasn't able to fix the bugs before the designated release date. Thus, the Disney OS was released in late 2000 with the bugs remaining unpatched. Shortly after release, users of the Disney OS began to report strange occurrences. Files would move around on their own, disappear and reappear in unusual spots, and the computers themselves would randomly turn on and off by themselves, even with no input from the user. Strange whispers could also be heard coming from the speakers. It was as if some malevolent force took over the Disney OS. Now fast forward to today. Right now, I am and have been a worker at Microsoft. And somewhere during the 2010s, I stumbled upon a computer with the Disney operating system installed on it. When I turned on the computer, the boot screen showed the Windows logo inside the Mickey Mouse head shape, the startup sound was the same as the ones used in Windows 2000 and Millennium Edition. The user interface was also similar to the interface of other Windows software at the time. Everything was normal until strange things began happening. Files would disappear and then reappear in unusual places. The screen would flicker, and cryptic messages would appear. Menus would randomly open and strange whispers were heard coming from the speakers, even if the computer was turned off. When I clicked on the Internet Explorer icon, it opened up the browser window. Everything was normal at first, but when I visited the Disney website, something strange showed up. The screen contained an empty green background, and in the middle of it was a figure resembling Mickey Mouse, except he was all totally black and had bright white eyes. The figure looked directly into me and told me, I'm coming for you. Shivers were sent down my spine. As I went deeper into the files, I managed to access the Disney Movies folder that contained the many movies made by Disney and Pixar. I scrolled around and decided to watch one of them, A Bug's Life. While the movie played, everything went as normal, until something strange happened at the movie's climax. During the scene when Hopper grabbed Flick, the bird showed up. However, the bird's eyes were pitch black, and it kept staring at Hopper. Hopper then turned his head around to look at the bird and then he froze as his eyes also turned pitch black. The bird remained still for an uncomfortably long period of time. Both the bird and Hopper were often blinking their eyes. Suddenly, the screen froze and an error message displayed before crashing. Angry enough, I decided to watch the film Wreck-It Ralph from the movie files. Everything went normal this time, until about midway into the film, when again, something strange happened. During the scene when Ralph told the racers to leave Vanellope alone, the said racers turned their faces around and their eyes were all pitch black. The scene stood still again, with the racers looking at Ralph standing still. Like the other movie, they were blinking their eyes without saying anything, and the scene lasted for an uncomfortably long period. The same error message displayed and the video player closed by itself. It seems like the characters in the video files of the Disney Movies folder became possessed by the Disney OS, even a file named Disney OS's Chambers appeared on screen. When I clicked on it, it showed a cryptic message. The message was encoded in a Vigineer cipher and read, did you really think you could? After closing the file, I opened the menu and then restarted the operating system to see if the glitches would stop. Fortunately they eventually did. But until then, shortly after turning on, a red screen of death, which is the original blue screen of death with the color changed to red, appeared on my screen. After that, the PC forcibly shut down itself. Later, Microsoft finally released patches to these strange glitches. I turned on the computer again and attempted to install the patches to the operating system, but the system itself repetitively sent out error messages containing cryptic messages. These messages appear to be warning signs not to install the patches. I ignored the warnings and installed them anyway. The glitches stopped and I could finally feel relieved again. 
The nightmare of the Disney OS still persists to this day, and despite the rumors, Disney and Microsoft were indeed very sorry about the glitches in the Disney operating system. They promised to eventually release better versions of the Disney OS that would not have such glitches. But to this day, the legend of the Disney OS continues to haunt some users, just waiting to appear in their nightmares soon.